The search for a drug to treat COVID-19 has taken a turn you might find surprising. Yes, doctors are right now testing an approved age-old drug for gout to see that if it stops some of the more severe COVID symptoms. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has more in today's Max Minute. The ancient Egyptians used a precursor of the drug colchicine to treat gout, a painful inflammation of the joints, often the big toe. Since then, it's even been used to tamp down inflammation in heart procedures. So it was a kind of natural to try it in the runaway inflammation of COVID-19. It was when the coronavirus pandemic was skyrocketing in April that Emlyn and John Nyborg both started feeling awful one evening, just a few hours apart. I had a high fever. I mean, it actually went up to the point of over 104 degrees. And then it becomes uncontrollable. You get, your body can't even stop shaking. As luck would have it, Emlyn works at NYU Langone. And when she tested positive for corona, researchers there asked if she wanted to volunteer for a clinical trial using colchicine to rein in the damaging inflammation in COVID-19. We want to really give it within a few days of diagnosis uh, as early as possible. Once the inflammatory response starts, colchicine may not be strong enough to rein that back in. Both Emlyn and John volunteered for the international trial called Cold Corona. Doctors say the advantage to using colchicine as an anti-inflammatory is... It isn't strong enough that it would wipe out your entire inflammatory response and make you susceptible for other infections. It's a double-blind trial, so John and Emlyn don't know whether they got colchicine or a placebo, but they're both feeling better. It felt like my lungs were much clearer. And you can take a deep breath. So almost like you have three lungs, you know, and, it, and that's the difference. The Col Corona trial is still looking for volunteers. It's a free, at-home, no-contact trial, but it must be started before you're sick enough to be hospitalized. Go to cbsnewyork.com for information on how to qualify. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.